Hello there, I'm Dr. Shauna Aishans, or Dr. E, naturopathic physician, and I am here today with Kelly, who has just finished her three-month transformational health program. And she rocked it. She's absolutely amazing. She was amazing before, but she's even <laughs> healthier and more amazing uh, with this new version of herself. And I just wanted her to share a little bit about her story, offer some of you out there who may be struggling some hope, and, uh, just a little background, Kelly and I met years ago, your baby was a yep. baby, 18 hours old. Yep. And it was at a different office and then she she struggled, uh, continued to struggle for a few more years and she came into the office and said, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of being sick and tired and I'm, I'm barely getting by. So would love to hear your story, experience, transformation, okay. whatever you wanna share. Um, I was sick for a really long time. Um, I got, we joke that I uh, got sick right after I met my <laughs> boyfriend then, um, I'm allergic to him, but I did, it was a freshman year in college and I got sick with Asian flu and, um, that same week is when we started dating, which is why we joke that I'm allergic to him, but I've been sick ever since. And that's wow. 23, 22 years. A long time. Diagnosed with fibromyalgia about a year later. And then it's just been a spiral down ever since there were periods where it wasn't as bad but i can remember my husband we were 20 years old and he's you know helping me crawl into bed and i'm in mm -hmm. tears thinking they're not supposed to help me like this till we're 80. wow but, and then what happened between then and now what were your uh, symptoms or what, how did you I was struggle or get by i was in severe pain all the time um and it would make me feel like i couldn't walk or couldn't move my arms or um couldn't do that before Zach would go to work in the morning. He'd make sure the milk was loosened up and any knob that was hard in the house, he'd make sure it was loosened. Mm -hmm. and, um, we planned our life around how I could budget my energy. If I did this, then I'm going to be out for these three days. And so is it worth it? Um, we tried tons of conventional therapies. We've tried different natural therapies. Um, and it would just, it would be a cycle where you would be gung ho. Let's try it. This is going to work. And after a while, and sometimes it did work for a while, um, and then it would cycle off. You would just go overwhelmed and quit, and we'd quit everything. Mm -hmm. And then I'd start researching and looking for answers again. And when I first was diagnosed, I mean, the internet was barely a thing. Google, I think, was barely a thing. Libraries didn't have books on fibromyalgia or any type of adrenal fatigue or anything like that. So I searched, and I would look, and I would find an article and they would mention these supplements and then I'd have to search to find the supplements because they weren't anywhere. You couldn't find stuff. Wow. And then I would go to my doctors and say, hey, I read this article and I think this is what, and they'd be like, there's nothing wrong with you. I've never heard of this. One of them was a Myers cocktail, which is a, an IV full of um, nutrients and things. And they would say, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Your conventional docs? Yeah. Okay. So I couldn't find, we ended up moving to Indiana and lived there for 10 years in the middle of all of this. and. That's when I really started researching and looking for, and we had tried every kind of conventional medicine. I had tried every supplement that I could find. I could try, I'd read an article and I'd try this. So I um, started researching. That's when I came across the idea of a naturopathic doctor. Um, and the closest one we could find was four and a half hours away. And that just, it wasn't feasible mm -hmm. at all. Um, so we didn't. So then we went back to conventional medicine. <laughs> And um, after my, and I would say I, we cycled through, there was periods of time where it wasn't quite as debilitating and overwhelming. And then there were periods where it was so bad, I couldn't take care of myself. All I ever wanted to be was a mom since I was four. Um, and it took us 10 years to get a baby because of infertility and different problems like that. Um, and then shortly after my first was born, I had just debilitating headaches, couldn't function. Somehow I got pregnant with my second and when he was six weeks old, um, we thought what I was getting a flare and it ended up being a two year black hole where somebody had to be in the house with me all the time because I couldn't hold him. I couldn't carry him. I wasn't sleeping at night and I couldn't function during the day and, um, and did up being on morphine three times a day with a whole bunch of other medicines at the same time. And, found out later that those were interacting with each other and causing more problems. Like it's, I don't remember a lot of that time period because it was so awful and I've blacked it out, but I also was in such 
a medicated haze, I couldn't function. And my husband will tell you now, he was watching me die because we didn't know what to do. We tried everything. And here you're in your supposed prime. Yeah, with my babies that I waited for forever. Brand new babies. And couldn't take care of them. Huh. It was a very black, dark place. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we ended up, we knew that the cold, it was in Indiana, we knew the cold and humidity made my pain worse. So we blind face <laughs> packed it up. I had a one-year-old and a 24-month-old. And I couldn't take care of them by myself. And my husband had just had back surgery, but we packed up the truck and moved to Arizona because we needed heat and dry for your health, for my health. And it helped, but it was still, I think it was probably a year before I, my daughter met, uh, was talking to some lady in the park and we got to talking and she had health problems and mentioned that, have you ever gone to a naturopath doctor? And I'm like, I've always wanted to, but I have never found one. And we lived in very rural Indiana. So one of the perks of living in a big city was you could find supplements Mm -hmm. and you could, with this thing called a naturopathic doctor, you've got more than one. (laughs) Um, So we tried and it it helped. So that's when I found out I um, had the celiac uh, or that's where I got my celiac diagnosis and tried different supplements and definitely got a lot of my life back. Good. And then had a third baby. And then this past um, and still, like, I was still on a low dose amount of pain medicine. I was better and we were surviving, but I just, there had to be more. It wasn't good enough. It was a sub survival, yeah. not optimal. No. Uh huh. So then I came and saw you. <laughs> and that was about three months ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, anything else you want to share about when you walked in? Any other symptoms or? Um, challenges that you were just sick and tired of dealing with that made you take that leap sick and tired of being sick and tired I was tired of feeling like I could barely thrive I really want to survive or I'm tired of surviving I really want to thrive Mm -hmm. I have this beautiful family we live in a gorgeous area and I still am budgeting my life by how much energy is that going to take I don't know if I can handle that headaches being so tired all the time that you couldn't, I couldn't function. I had the want to do things and I had some great ideas, but I didn't have the physical ability to do anything. And that gets overwhelming and depressing and you just get sucked into a black hole. Mm -hmm. It really is a black hole. So what made you take the sleep? I was desperate. Uh I was willing to try. And we had tried a lot of things. I tease and say I had tried every lotion and potion and pill and I, and I have, and they were, a lot of them were really good things. It just wasn't working in, in the right combination or in the right, I needed more. Mm -hmm. And so we, I hit the point where, okay, I don't know what you're going to tell me, but I honestly didn't think you could fix me. (laughs) I I like a challenge. I really wanted to believe, and I can remember you telling me, you're not crazy and we can fix this. And I was like, I badly want to believe that. But I have been there and had started new therapies before and been so excited. And then it worked for a little bit and tapered off. And I'm just like, I just don't know if I can do that roller coaster again. Mm -hmm. I do it to my family. Yep. And I remember walking out that first day and I was so <laughs> excited. Like, you ready? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> you said, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Yeah. And I said, I'm so excited because I know I could see what yeah. was to come. But I, I get it. You know, you'd been there and experienced it's that hard journey. To think, and it's hard to think this time it'll work. Mm-hmm. It really is. So now tell us more about your experience. Did it work? How are you Did feeling? Did it work? What's different? I walked How's into life? my kid's past school library today, stopped by to see a friend in the library and goes, I didn't even recognize you. Look at you. You are oh. glowing. And I'm like, let me just tell you a little secret. <laughs> but I, I've had people tell me all summer, I don't know what you're doing, but something's working. Like, I know. It did. I didn't. It started at first with just being able to sleep. I haven't gone to sleep without help in 22 years. Like I've had to take something and I, some of it has been natural supplements. Some of it has been not natural at all. Um, and since we started in June and 
within two or three weeks, I wasn't taking anything and falling asleep Mm -hmm. and staying asleep, which both of those things, even on the medication, it would take me hours to go to sleep. And then I would always wake up at three and then it would be a battle to go back to sleep. Um, I didn't know. I could not remember what it felt like to wake up rested and refreshed and ready to go. I I really Mm -hmm. don't know what it was like not to feel pain. I didn't know what it was like. I could not remember what it felt like to have energy. And how is your pain and energy now? What pain? <laughs> I love it. I, I didn't. The other day I had to stop and really, yeah, there's nothing that hurts right now. Huh. It, in the absence of pain, was like, oh, I, this, I don't know what this feels like. This is so crazy. My mom said, I was asking about the energy the other day, and I said, I'm feeling pretty good. She goes, so you feel like a normal person? Mom, I don't know what that feels like. So I, I'm feeling better than I ever have. So I'm guessing this is at least normal, if not better, and blowing the rest of you out of the water. Hmm. And keeping up with part-time job, yep. wife, three kids, that requires energy. Yep. How you want to do it because you're an amazing mom and, and wife. So how you've always wanted to um, expend that energy is finally there, it sounds yes. like. Good. Yeah. I'm even thinking about doing some landscaping. Nice. <laughs> you know, things that always wanted to, but there was, I knew there was no physical way possible or back on the table, but hmm, do I want to even do it now? Uh-huh. Is there anything else you noticed or wanted to share about how this program was different? You tried so many things, including other NDs, supplements, uh, IV, you name it. You tried it, right? <laughs> yes. So how was this different? Um, I think one of the big factors is knowing that when I came in, um, it was catered to what I needed that day. Like at the beginning, I would see you every day, every other day, and knowing that we might do a little bit of this, we might do a little bit of this. It's not take this pill, go home, try it for two weeks, come back, we'll see how you are. And just, I feel like before you're constantly guessing and trying to get there. Mm -hmm. Um, And this time, knowing that you could cater and personalize what I needed based on today. Today I'm achy here and I'm this, so we let's do a hydrotherapy and let's do a little bit of this and maybe not this. And um, just being able to, to have it so individualized and personalized to what, ex- I've always joked, wouldn't it be fun if you had a little gauge that told you what you needed? And I felt like this style of treatment, you were able to be that gauge and say, this is what your body needs today mm-hmm. to heal and each step built on another. Um, We focused a lot on, when I first came, it was being, I'm tired, I'm overwhelmed, I'm in pain. Um, But some of the things I can remember telling you that I've struggled with my weight forever since I got sick. And and I jokingly tell people I can eat cardboard and drink water and I won't lose anything, I'll gain weight. Um, And it's frustrating to try all the right things and still it not work. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's, Again, you're back into the depressed and the hopeless feeling. And um, what did we end up doing? Nine pounds over the course of the three months, which I almost started crying the first time I got on that scale and it went down because I I tried. I have done like don't eat anything kind of diets um, and that worked. And being able to sleep at night. um, Okay, so one of the funny things that I totally was not expecting was I've never been able to sleep on my stomach and I couldn't understand (laughs) how people could do that. How do you not suffocate in your pillow? Um, But halfway through the summer, and I think it had been four or five days before I even realized the pattern that, oh my gosh, I am waking up smack like spread eagle on my stomach every day and I don't have a headache or a neck ache or anything. And that's when I realized, well, I can turn my head farther than I've ever been able to turn it. I didn't even know that that was (laughs) a limit. That So just... The fact that there, when there's good stuff happening here, it's just it's gonna overflow yes. into other areas. But that was a mind blowing surprise out of the whole. Yeah, and I think people yeah. get so comfortable in their discomfort or their pain. Yes, you it's don't normalized. realize. Yes, I didn't even it remember to tell you that this was on my list of right. things that don't feel good. It's yes. always been that way. Well, I give you major props because I can work with the body. I can give you the best treatments. I can have the expertise, but you're the one sticking to the diet, sticking to the appointments, and really the one who took the leap and committed in the beginning. So thank you. Thank you. It's worth all of it. It really is. Thank you for trusting. (laughs) And uh, if you are ready to heal and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired like Kelly was, 
and you're ready to really find that cause and thrive like you deserve, please reach out for a free consultation and we'll figure out if we're a great fit and get you back on track. Thank you.